exactly what we needed. Yes, it was. Um, no denying it was um, a pressure game. It, was, it wasn't a six-pointer and it wasn't a must-win, but we know that there are a team that's around us. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a big game and I made sure the players knew that, but I didn't want to put that sort of pressure of the, the, the six-pointer, that, that sort of comments. I don't like them sort of comments because um, they're not, but they were around us. So obviously it was, it was big in that respect. What pleased me most was uh, I looked at the game and I, and I sort of changed the team a little bit because I felt after Tuesday, we, we'd, and for a while now we've been doing a lot of good things, but we've not been scoring goals. And I felt as a manager, I just needed to try and think of something a little bit different um, that just might change our luck, if you like, or, or our momentum and belief. So, um, play with Sam and John up front, a bit more of a presence. Um, spoke about getting more balls in the box, being more aggressive, being a strong, aggressive team. And, it, and it's all worked out perfect today because it wasn't great conditions, difficult, wasn't it? And both teams were obviously fighting for their lives and it wasn't particularly pretty to the eye. But when it comes to competing and fighting and being strong, that, that was our identity today. And that's why I asked to the players before the game. I said to them before the game, if your parents, friends, whoever comes to watch this today, I want him, I want him to say after the game that they was fit, strong, organised, and little bits of quality won us, won us the game. So I'm delighted with that. You said a few weeks ago, this staying in the game, it has to be us, this has to be us until we find a new way of playing. How pleasing is it to see that the boys competed and stayed in there? Yeah, and, and we have done. We have done. It's, it's only the goals. Um, you can't keep clean sheets every game. Of course you can't. But even when we've gone a goal down, you've seen the response from the group. So I've, I've been confident, quietly confident, because I can see how much it means to them. Today, um, there wasn't much in the game. Both teams really competed well. We would worked on set pieces and um, great delivery. Um, Kelvin attacked the ball with aggression, meaning it. Not just going up there to make the numbers up. He actually meant it when he edited it. And obviously John was the right place at the right time, which he's got that knack of. And then obviously then Gibbo's bit of quality, which he showed at times, got us to penalty. So, um, yeah, overall, they've really done what I asked of them and the plan, if you like, worked today. Just this week you said that set pieces, our goal scoring from them was unacceptable. Have you worked on that this week? Has that come from that kind of situation there? Yeah, we have. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't do loads because we, we ain't got much training time. But certainly Thursday was, was uh, set piece day. Um, we spoke about it. Um, we worked a little bit on Friday as well. But for me, it's more the mentality and, and the belief of why, why are you going up there, really? Are you going to go up there to, right, this is my header? And Kelvin was the perfect example, wasn't he? He was aggressive, um, he attacked the ball, and, and that's what we got our rewards from. When you try something like you have with Mellish, it's something a little bit different. Do you pat yourself on the back for, <laughs> for finding the, the, the spark? Oh, I'm not sure about patting myself on the back. I, I pat them on the back for making it work. But... Um, I just felt after Tuesday, the way the lads were, I needed to be the one that tried to think of something a little bit different. Um, and, and that's what we've done, and it, and it, and it worked today. Um, and yeah, we, we're very happy. Um, we can have a, a good rest now, because we've got a busy period coming up, but going into this busy period on the back of that, well, obviously we'd be in a better place. You've said it already, the difference today is taking advantage of those moments of quality who have made them count. Yeah, we did. Yep. They had a few moments as well, to be fair. Um, Mark didn't have loads of saves, um, but they got in some dangerous areas at time, mainly aerially. They, they were dangerous in the air. Um, and that's why, I, again, I, I said that we, we were certainly the, the biggest team we've, I've put out physically. Um, and I think that helped us today. Um, so I'm not saying that that's us. We've got to do both sides of it. I still want to demand us to be better on the ball. But it wasn't about that today. It was about, um, yeah, competing well, and uh, and we've done that. I don't know if people can hear that in the background, but that's the, <laughs> that's the dressing room. That's the difference this makes, isn't it? It is, yeah. And also, I mean, again, the fans to travel down. I don't know how many there were today, and they were behind us. They, you could hear them. Um, 
and for us to go to them at the end and, and clap them was, was great. And, and they're the moments I, I really want more of. So we've got to do our part on the pitch. And, and, but they did their part today as well. And, um, and that was the outcome. I know you don't think about these bits too much, but when you hear Millen's blue and white army and give us a wave, Keith, what, what's that like? What's that like for you to know that it's all going well on the day? Well, it's an appreciation, hopefully, that they know what we're trying to do. Um, we're working really hard since I've been here, the staff, um, to try and put it right. And um, we, we've got a long way to go still, without a doubt. But it's, it's a reward, if you like, for all the, the hard work we've been put in recently. And that, that's how I see it. So it makes me feel better, certainly, this weekend. Um, and, I, and I appreciate the fans' support. Got to mention Sam Fishburne getting all the 90 minutes there. What's the like for a young boy like that? Amazing. I mean, again, two big centre halves. Um, and I just felt on Tuesday, for all our hard work, we didn't maintain the ball well enough up front. And um, Sam today sometimes didn't always hold it up, but he didn't allow him to get them real big headers that sort of put it back on us. So uh, there was a lot of things dropping, dropping down, and that's where John become alive. So, um, no, for, for a lad of his age to last like he did, he, he's got a bright future. That's one for me. I know you were looking after Corey because of his little ankle problem in training and John holding his, his calf at the end there. Any news on those two? I think John's was just probably a bit of cramp. I think he was just tired. Corey, um, I was protecting, um, but I just felt, I, I was just a little bit concerned. They were putting a few balls in the box and outnumbering us a couple of times. So I said to Corey, just go on there and just, I didn't want to go to a back five because I'm, when we went two up, you, 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 part of you is thinking, right, let's just drop off and defend it. But that, actually, that's sort of false security, really. I, I'd much rather try and keep some pressure on the ball and not let them keep putting balls in the box. So I didn't want to make a change too early. Um, and yeah, Corey should be fine. We've got a week now to, uh, to look after him. Thank you once again.